Here's something for you to reflect on today. How do you respond to adversity? Because this may materialize in a variation of ways, whether that's somebody criticizing your habits or saying that you're not eating healthy, or maybe somebody doesn't like the way that you act or perform, or maybe they just don't like your spending habits, or maybe there's certain nonverbal behaviors that they want to call out. The question, though, is how do you respond to the criticisms of life? Like if somebody used to say, uh, why aren't you following your passion? Why aren't you spending more time trying to find a job that's going to make you more money? When you're confronted with that, do you uh, pull away? Do you get defensive? Do you start saying, well, how dare you ask me that? I'm trying my hardest and it's just not working for me. Or do you get sad and stop talking to individuals and just become a recluse and watch television and just feel sad about it? Or do you take action? Do you start doing things differently so that your life actually is evolving into the life that you want to have? Because I found that when I'm actually comfortable with the way I'm feeling when it, with my thoughts about myself and I'm not feeling defensive, then I'm more often taking action towards the things I actually want to do. And the reason I find that in the past I would get defensive is because I knew that there was something that I actually wanted to do. I knew there's an area of my life that I needed to progress, uh, progress in and invest towards, but I wasn't doing it. So I'd find excuses and rationale for why I was stagnating. And unfortunately, that would have me being dishonest with not only myself, but other individuals justifying my stagnation, you know, reasons why I should remain dormant as an individual. But when you get to the point where you can honestly say what you're feeling, like, you know, maybe you're currently on unemployment and a job opportunity comes up that doesn't pay you as much, you know, you feel like you don't, can't tell the truth. But if you're actually comfortable with who you are, you'd be like, well, financially, this doesn't make sense for me because I'm gonna get more from unemployment and that's gonna end soon. And the job only pays like 300 less than I will get on that, so having the ability to be honest about why you can and cannot do things, or maybe with decluttering or getting rid of things. It's like, instead of just getting defensive as individuals might, you know, I've done it with my clothing in the past or my books because I like a lot of my books, but then I found the reason I was holding on to them is because it was the opportunity to share knowledge and finding value in that and being able to spread information was something I very much value and enjoy. But getting defensive and attacking the individuals, like how dare you ask these questions was an unhealthy response in my world. So once I became comfortable in my rationale for doing things, I was able to better navigate the direction I wanted to go in life. So for example, in the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Enough by Mark Manson, he recommends having individuals like designating and talking to an individual and having them say that, they will call you out on your BS, you know, the things that you do say, the habits that are unhealthy, and call you out when you do it, and then not attacking them when they call you out. So when I was in prison doing our first 40-day study, I had designated the role to Janine. I'm like, Janine, if I start doing something, I need you to call me out. I need you to hold me accountable to my word. So the very next day, because she agreed to do it, she called me out on some complete BS justification, high horse topic. I think it had to do with politics, but I can't quite remember. She called me out and I got extremely defensive instantaneously. I was like, ah, how dare you call me out on this? I'm never going to share my emotions with you. I'm going to be locked down. Goodbye to Daniel. No more of this. And it was in that moment that I realized my response, the training, domestication that I had received in my life was very unhealthy. It was very defensive and was not situated so that I could have self-development and growth. And right after that, I completely changed the way that I was engaging in this discourse because it was a narcissistic response. It was one that believed that I was righteous in my feelings and that I was justified, but it was complete, uh, complete BS. So being able to call ourselves out 
being able to navigate and recognize what we actually genuinely want and the direction that we're going and the reason that we're giving the justification that we have can be highly beneficial when trying to discover the path that we want to get down. So if your current responses towards questions or inquiry are defensive, anger, or recluseness, reclusiveness, and is in genuine honesty, then there might be an area for you to work on. So the question is, are you stuck in the fixed mindset or the growth mindset? This is how things will always be, or how can I navigate and change? How can I grow past this? So that's our thoughts to reflect on today. Thanks for tuning in.